Okay, so it's been nearly a year now since uh, my last um, Mods Before Friday modding update kind of video. Um, I mean, that's a good thing, you know, you all got to chill on 1.37 and, you know, everything was stable, all the mods came out and it's nice just not having things constantly change. Um, we had BMBF, then we had... Uh, I can't remember, like, all the other Quest games version Switch, Patcher, and all that stuff. So it's nice to just enjoy the game uh, and not have to worry about things. Um, but, what, a week or two ago, I noticed that it, this had finally updated from 1.37 to 1.40.4. Um, and there's quite a few mods for it out. Uh, we'll have a look through these quickly. Um, we've got any text beat leader beat together better song search nightcore quest beats of uh, BTS Yeater, camera utils chat plex clock mod crash reporter DLC sorter fast scroll graphics tweaks Heartbeat quest this looks new to me um, to be honest I haven't been looking over mods much lately so they may have been added onto 1.37 um, we've got hit sounds we've got Hollywood here um, if people don't know what Hollywood is, it was like a part of replay mod that let you record like higher quality videos. Um, so I don't know if now that is just replay mod renamed as Hollywood or it's a separate thing. But anyway, that's what it is. Um, image cover expander, mod list, multiplayer core, no promo, yeah. Particle tuner, B-Saber plus game tweaker, menu music, note tweaker. And then we've got Consistent Saber Colors, Random Song Picker, Recently Played, Red Bar, Small Cubes, Smooth Controller, and Too Many Fireworks. So there's a couple of things missing from there, like some of the big hitters like Noodle Extensions and Chroma. Um, Chroma's a big one for me, like I, I love Chroma maps more than anything. So um, at the moment, uh, if you're on 1.37, you're more than you know good just chilling on there oh yeah there's hollywood so i think replay has just been dropped overall but anyway uh yeah that's there if you want to update um and at the end of this video i will be going through um uh, an update just to see if there's any changes with mods before friday i, I doubt there will be but um anyway let's go over to the more interesting part i think um we've got this announcement from resavers uh, and they're doing trick saber which is basically a reimagining of trick saber um trick saber is pretty old now so any of you like newer players you you might not have even seen used or heard of it um it basically let you do those uh cool tricks with the uh, sabers <laughs> like spin them around throw them um actually i think that was about it to be honest but uh there's a little video here so let's watch this and then we'll have a quick skim through this okay so we've got the sabers yeah you used to be able to like throw them and pretend like you were catching them so that's pretty similar to the old one that's new being able to drop them on the floor let me just turn this volume down yeah spinning was one of the classics um throw spins i'm trying to remember when i used to use it like i think that it was more like that you know um so i think you that with this you can adjust the speed of the spin maybe it's nice you can turn the sabers on and off that's pretty cool and you can draw with uh scorch marks so uh, pretty awesome to be honest um i think that's the end of the video yeah so a lot of new features there um compared to the old trick server um one thing to note this is part of resavers and you do have to um subscribe to their patron uh, which is part of beat leader um to get access to trick servers uh it's not much if we go over to their patron here it's three pound a month for me in the UK with like 60p tax uh, and then that gives you access to this page um, which is just the supporting link page um, they have created two versions so there's a version for 1.37 and another version for 1.40.4 um, 
This will be the last version for 1.37. Going forwards, it'll be on 1.40.4. So we're at kind of a crossover stage here if you want to hang around on 1.37 for a little bit until you see Chroma and Noodle and whatever any other you know mods that you like to use over on 1.40, then you know you can hang there. Um, it works both ways. Um, yeah. So anyway, let's have a quick look through. Um, Resurbers me a proper trick server mod support. Yeah, everyone's been requesting this. And honestly, it was, it's been a good couple of years, I think, since I last saw trick server in um, one of my videos that I'd used. Um, because when, when they switched over the replay mod to using your beat leader score to create the replay, um, I tried doing tricks and it was showing me doing the tricks um, you know, when I watched the replay on my headset, I think. But then when I recorded the video, the tricks weren't showing. And I was confused, so I messaged them and they were like, oh yeah, it messes with the score um, accuracy, so it kind of gets disabled, basically. Um, so everyone pretty much stopped using Tricksaber because the main reason to use Tricksaber was, you know, to make your videos look a bit more interesting. Um, but yeah, this is all going to get worked into now. Um, you don't have to install Tricksaber mod for this to work. Again, ignore the Tricksaber mod now. It's kind of gone. Um, tricks are also supported in Beatleader web replays. Um, this talks more about, I think these are PC, but if we scroll down, where is it? Important for Quest users, here we go. Um, support for viewing tricks in replays will be added in one of future updates. So at the moment you can't see them in your replays, so you'll be able to see your tricks in game, obviously. Um, when all necessary features implemented into the replay mod. So again, replay slash Hollywood, um, that needs to be updated. And then we can obviously see the tricks in the finished video. Um, so I might just hold off doing um, a Treak Saber video until that's updated. I don't know, I'll play about with it and see. And then they say, this is also the last Resabers update for Quest 1.37. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. I'm really excited to try this, to be honest. Um, and yeah, the mods, there's quite a few. I'm going to do an install of this, but to be honest, I might go back to 1.37 because uh, quite a lot, a lot of the maps I play are Chroma. Um, and yeah, I'll miss that too much. But anyway, we're going to jump over to Mods Before Friday and then do an install of 1.40.4 just to see if the process has changed or there's any like quirks or anything. So we'll jump over to that now. Okay, so here we are in Mods Before Friday. Um, one thing to know, because uh, I normally use Firefox, you have to use a Chromium-based browser for this to work. So this is on Edge, uh, but Chrome will obviously work as well. Um, so once you've got your headset connected, um, you go to, well, to get here, sorry, mbf.bsquest.xyz. Um, I'll post all links for all the different things in the description. Uh, so you click Connect to Quest. And then it'll show up Quest 2 paired, might say unpaired or something. If there's nothing here, then try reconnecting or a different USB port or something. Click connect, allow connection in headset. So let me just pop that on quickly. Okay, so when you put on your headset to allow the connection, there's um, a button, the third option at the bottom saying always allow, um, just click that. Um, so, here we are at the moment. I was on 1.37. So app is modded, install modded, blah, 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 blah. Um, core mod updates there. Um, so yeah, this 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 section here is if there's, there's a core mods update for 1.37. So if you're wanting to stay on 1.37 and you come on here and you see this, you can click fix issues. There's also... Um, an updated modelable version is available here, so let's click that. Uh, to update the latest modelable version, simply uninstall BeatSaber with the button below, reinstall BeatSaber in your headset, open back up MBF to mod the version you've just installed. Uninstall BeatSaber. Oh, let's just read that. Whoa, what's that? Um, maps and scores will remain. Yeah, this has always been the case. Um, you don't have to worry about your maps, scores, and everything like that. 
they're stored in a separate location on your headset so you can mod unmod delete and everything hundreds of times and they they'll never get deleted so don't worry about that um i'm going to click uninstall beat server here um and now what you need to do is then go in the headset and install the base version of BeatSer again, the official version, and then come back to mods before Friday, and then you can do the um, the the mod process basically. Or what you could do is just delete and install BeatSer before you even connect on mods before Friday. So anyway, I'm gonna quickly install that now and jump back here. Okay, so I've re-downloaded BeatSer in the headset. One thing. Even though I'd clicked uninstall on Mods Before Friday, when I went on the headset, it was still showing it like it was kind of installed. It wouldn't let me launch it or anything. And then I had to delete it manually in the headset anyway. So I think if you're on 1.37 and you want to go to 1.40.4 before you even come to Mods Before Friday, just delete the game, then come here and do this. It saves you having to do that for no reason. Um, if you're a new player and this is the first time modding, then you know, don't worry about it. You've got the base game. Come here, Mods Before Friday, you're good. Uh, so we're going to click Connect to Quest now. Quest 2 paired. Connect. Um, so we've got Downgrade and Setup Mods. MBF has detected your version of Beat Server doesn't support mods. Fortunately for you, your version can be downgraded automatically to the latest moddable version 1.40.4. Ah, uh, they've added this option now, choose another version. I don't know if this was always there. I don't think it was there, but... I could be wrong. Um, so let me just have a look at this. Yeah, so like for instance, I said, I, I want to try out 1.40.4, but I, I'd likely want to go back to 1.37 because it has Chroma. So, um, you know, if you want to jump back, you can. Um, I don't know how to get off this though once I've gone on it. Um, great. All oh, right, yeah, so reverse decision. There we go. Uh, 1.40.4. So we're going to do that. By downgrading, you will lose access to any DLC or other content that is not present in version 1.40.4. If you decide to stop using mods and reinstall vanilla beat server, however, then you will get this content back. So this basically is just, if you have DLC that's more recent than this version, then you obviously won't be able to play it because it didn't exist for this version. Um, Read carefully, mods and custom songs are not supported by beat games. You may experience bugs and crashes that you wouldn't in the vanilla game. Okay, whatever. So we're going to mod the app. Um, it's just going to run through all like, the modding files here. I'm going to skip this ahead because it takes a little while. Okay, app is modded. Your beat server install is modded and its version is compatible with mods. Everything should be ready to go. And let's just ignore that. Uh, so your mods... So I think these are all just the core mods. Add mods, these are all the ones we looked through before. Um, they all seem to be there. Um, so let me just install one quickly, just to make sure it loads in. Okay, let's do Hollywood. Importing the files, there we go. So that's installed. Your mods should be in there somewhere now. Yeah, there we go, Hollywood. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm not going to bother jumping in the headset set to show you. Um, when you go in in game, just look to your left, um, and you will see your mods menu kind of thing. Um, one other thing I'm going to show you is upload files because if you've got that file from Resabers, um, then you need to sort of add that manually. So you just click upload files and find the file basically this takes me to my downloads there it is resavers 1.40.4 qmod double click that and it just loads it in the same as we saw with hollywood there now that's installed as well um you don't have to stay subscribed to uh beat leader to get resavers so you know if you want to keep supporting them it's all good if you're broke and don't have much money then you don't want to be paying three three pounds sixty every month then you can cancel your subscription and just resubscribe when you want to get an updated version of the mod um but that's about it i'm not going to go in any longer because this video is already way too long so yeah thanks for watching